Hi, and welcome to my channel. This is KB Worth Saving 101, and I am KB Kim Baker. If this is your first time visiting me, then welcome. I'm a crazy lifetime thrifter turned reseller, and I currently resell on Poshmark, Macari, Tradesy, Etsy, eh, this tear, um, and going on to some other ones too. So if you're interested in reseller tips and tricks and lots of haul videos, then do me a favor, consider hitting that like and subscribe button down below because I don't know, maybe it'll help me out. <laughs> okay. So, um, and thanks for all my returnees. I always appreciate you so very much. Um, anyway, uh, this happens to be my second video of today because my last the damage you can do in 15 minutes, this is the same day shopping. I went and did go to my best, well, my best, my favorite store. Um, I do like going to the same store over and over again, guys, because you can always keep your eye on the tag. Um, you know, um, I'll actually put it in my phone as to what color tag is going to be next. So you already have an idea of what items you're looking for. So you can shop actually a little faster. Um, and yeah, and if you know there's really nothing good, you can maybe go to another one. Anyway, um, this is the same day as my other big haul. And this is 38 items for $55 and two cents. So um, even though I made it at 1130, there was a ton of things. Um, I do have to probably say, because of the appointment that we went to, maybe I did a little stress shopping. Um, so uh, anyway, let's dive in. We gotta get it done pretty quick. Um, I'm gonna start off with my um, shoes. Uh, so, and I did pick up two items that were not a dollar. So, um, and I'll tell you those. I do like to save my best items for last. So stay tuned to the end. These are aerosols. They're nine and a half. They are a man-made, um, but they're a little zip up, heeled uh, ankle booty. Um, and guess what? Um, these comfort shoes, they're fantastic. I wish they were a nine um, or an eight and a half because yeah, they're just a little bit too big for me, but those should do a very well. Okay. This pair is a bandolino and they are genuine leather and I think they don't really have too much of a name. They've got numbers on it. Um, 8D7COPPA. Um, I will still put that in my uh, top of my description as my first thing. So if anybody's actually Googling for this exact pair to replace, they can easily find it. I don't put it in my title. Um, anyway, these are an eight and a half, again, did I say? Yes, leather upper. Um, and Equestrian has been very in for fall in all the videos for fashion. So even though these do have a slight heel, um, because of the two-tone, I think they'll do very good. Um, equestrian, riding boot, all that good stuff. Um, key description. Okay. These are Michelle B. No, Michelle D. Sorry. She's a D. Um, and they are eight and a half medium... Is that what it says? Hold on. You know, eight and a half medium. Yes. And they actually have the name of Blaze. These are um, man made. Did they say man made? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. No, leather upper. Sorry. They are a leather upper, but they are like a rubber sole. Sorry. So that's where the man made part comes in. All right. Ugh. All right. I'll just pretend it's zipped right now. There it goes. Um, but they're like a vintage, and I want to say they're like an 80s style with, um, I forgot the name of this edging that goes around. There is a name. I will Google it. Um, just a heel, tall, like what, calf booty? Uh, knee. To the knee. To the knee. There you go. All right. My last and final pair of boots. <laughs> Uh, guys, I'm going to be ready for fall. Uh, let's see. We are Aldo, and these are not genuine leather. And where is our info? Right here. They're a size 8, great size. Um, there's no name, no info, or anything, which I kind of find surprising. Aldo's like found at like Nordstrom's and Macy's, I believe. Um, but they, again, are a flat tall, knee-length, um, a riding boot, equestrian style. Okay. All right. And 
and I have a lot of stuff, so we're going to move really quickly. All right, this happens to be a Bernardo. It is a size small. It is faux leather. When um, at this store, I did have time to look up. I wish I would have had time at the other store. I passed one by for a dollar. I will definitely pick this up um, because their jackets that are not real leather um, are originally like $200. So, and some of them are listed for over 60 on Poshmark. And to me, that's a score. Okay. London Fog, size six. And it, this one is fully lined with a zip out lining. Um, I don't know, it's that really soft, um, I don't know if you would consider it, it's not really a micro suede. Um, anyway, pockets, long trench, past the knee. Um, so yes, that one's really heavy, don't forget to weigh them. All right, now I'm super stoked about this one. I kept saying, okay, to hurry, Arthur S. Levine. I don't really sell it all that much, but uh, although this one is a petite, it is a four petite, um, but I did just sell two blazers in the last two weeks. So um, there goes my streak of not selling him. And I couldn't resist. It's, mm, I'm tempted, I might list it underneath a slip dress because those are so very popular, but it is a little bit more of a sheath style with the back slit and this sweetheart um, sheer pleated lace beaded um, neckline. So, but it is stinking adorable. I think that it's gonna do awesome. Okay. This one is Logo by Lori Goldstein and it's a size medium um, and it's a cotton blend. Uh, it is just this like coral and orange and pink purple cami uh, camouflage, cami camo. <laughs> and um, she's done fairly well for me, so yes. All right, I think this is where I got a little brain dead and I was overdone and I just decided to keep everything that was left in my in my basket. Um, this is Buffalo by David Bitten. Now I've done good with his jeans before. It is a size small. It is a very nice weight, stretchy knit, um, just athleisure loungewear top. No idea what I'll get for this. I do usually like to stay away from tops, guys, because they don't bring in as much money. All right. Um, this one happens to be a Liz Claiborne, and um, it is vintage. It is a size 12, and I got it for, everybody say it, the print of it. It is so stinking cute. All right. Um, it says dresses, so obviously it was probably a three-piece, I'm assuming, and this was the jacket that went with it. I do have to go through and disclose. I might, it had a safety pin in it, and I took the safety pin out and didn't realize it was because there's, oh, there goes some of my stuff on the floor. That's how big the pile is. Um, it is, um, it was holding this up. So this one has the button and this one doesn't. I might just put the safety pin back in and disclose it um, instead of tacking it. But it is this like notched collar. Um, it does have, uh, buttons on the sleeves. Um, it might have had elastic, but at the same time, I think it looks better open. Um, it's really cute. So yes, uh, love vintage. And Liz Claiborne has done well for me. All right, guys, I'm stuck. Oh, thank God. Thought I was going to have to do a dance around here for you. <laughs> All right, gotta grab what fell to the floor. I'm telling you, I went overboard. And I told you I've been trying not to. I don't know. I just couldn't get, I couldn't resist. And the stress, I think, from uh, the procedures just, it got to me that day. All right. So this is um, Alfred Dunner, 8 Petite, 100% polyester, vintage, and it is so stinking cute. Um, it's got this pleated mock collar, beautiful floral with some shoulder pads. Um, and it does have like elastic, but it's supposed to be for the uh, ruffle effect. Sorry open it up, the little ruffle peplum down below. So I thought that was adorable. Again, though, it's a petite. I don't know. I'm telling you, I must have been really off. All right, <clears throat> next, I have, and my girlfriend must not have been there because I picked up a lot more crap. Christy, where were you? <laughs> I don't think she went to the store this, this week. Um, and I didn't get there till 11.30, so. This one is a Chico's Designs. And it is a micro suede or faux suede, um, but it has this 
Southwestern um, print on it. And I picked it up for the print of it. Okay, and again, Chico's has their vanity sizing of size two. So I'll put the two in my title and uh, a photo of their actual size chart and list it under the size that it actually should be. Next, we have L, and again, I got it for the print of it. I did go a little overboard. It is an extra large. I don't believe it's made of anything spectacular, but it is this really super cute, and I probably will say picnic plaid, even though it's not technically, it just looks so adorable. It has this little tie on the side, elastic waist, pull on skirt, and an extra large. Okay, and I'm rushing, because today's the fifth. My honey's off and he's on his way, and ah, uh, yeah. Um, hopefully the phone doesn't ring again, because uh, I've done this three times now. <laughs> okay, this one is, again, a vintage. Um, it's a Della Nada, Mata, Della Mata, size 12. I think it's vintage. It's 100% silk. Maybe not. One, two, three, four, five. It is not vintage, um, but it could be like an 80s um, or 90s. The tag, it's 100% silk. And wait till I show you it. It's so stinking cute. I'll have to do more research. It does have some small shoulder pads in it. Um, but it's the little, like, almost like a rosette. Um, you can see the detail on that. Um, tie waist. 100% um, silk. It was just too stinking cute. All right. <clears throat> Next. Um, I was really surprised, and I was so stinking excited that... <clears throat> the pieces that I had picked out the week before because the tag was um, orange and I did shop the wrong color tag. So um, I decide to go there and most of my stuff was still there. So I am really stoked about it. Um, this one happens to be a Donna Morgan. And again, this is um, just a gorgeous, it is a size four. I will put mother of the bride. It does have, um, like a, what do you call it, a uh, register trademark kind of thing. So I'll have to Google more to see if it would qualify as a vintage piece. But it is this gold sleeveless, um, and it has all this um, sequins and beading, pleated empire, flowy skirt. So again, mother of the bride is the key words, and it's nothing but polyester and acetate, but it is gorgeous. All right, Chico's, <laughs> size zero, and um, this one is a linen blend, and it is a really super cute, lightweight, open, um, like tunic cardigan. It has a little bit of I don't know, an Aztec Western, Southwestern flair with the colors and the print to it. So yes, I did pick that up. Oh, this one's so stinking adorable. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. This happens to be a vintage notations and it is a size small um, and I can't read. I think maybe it is, no, it's just rayon. It's not silk, but it has this Mandarin collar, and I forget the knot's names. So it's a Mandarin collar, and it has, oh, can you see the clasp to it? There it is. Um, and it's this oriental um, printed blouse. So yes, I think that'll do very well. I think it's actually very gorgeous. So there we go. Okay. This one is new with tags. It is an Ashley Stewart. It is a top. It is a size 16, um, but new with tags. So um, I will list it for 29 and hopefully sell it for 25. Um, it does have um, long sleeve, just a flowy, almost like a camo um, scoop neck with a little keyhole in the back. Uh, I just sold an American Living dress, which was awesome. So this size six, I loved 
the print. So I got it for the print of it. Um, but yeah, the dress sold for me, and this one is so stinking adorable. It is a little bit smaller size, but that's okay. I just love the print. And um, I've been picking up way too many coats. <laughs> Gosh, I need stuff to list for now, right? Okay. <clears throat> so, yes, here we go. Um, this one actually had um, some stuff down the front of it. Um, if you haven't heard my tip before, I take diaper wipes with me. Um, and I started doing that because of COVID, but it is fantastic to go through and to make sure that you do not have um, stuff that is going to come home with stains that are not going to be able to be removed. So, um, I do highly recommend carrying diaper wipes with you and they're a lot cheaper than the shout wipes and they usually do very good and don't leave any kind of residue or marks so um anyway this is a beige um by eic or eci sorry um size six um but it is this very modest um lace um like quarter sleeve it's a quarter i don't know half sleeve half sleeve with a little ruffle um you know scoop neck and it's just in lace and it's in cream well yes I'm telling you I think cream is like my number one selling color right now cream and white um, items that I used to stay away from I am just loving picking up make sure you're going to utilize bridal shower bridal luncheon um, bachelorette because it does help okay I am super stoked about this one. I couldn't believe it was still there. Like I said, she must not have been there. Um, this is gorgeous. Who are you? Who? Who are you? Jessica Howard, size 16. And um, this is a nice formal. Okay, I just sold a Jessica Howard um, and made $50 on it. So, well, no, so I think I made 50. I can look it up. But anyway, I sold for big good, good money and I made good money. Um, so I don't mind picking up Jessica Howard and this happens to be a gold netted overlay um, like empire cut with this beading and it is just past the knee um, with a little bit of a pleat going on um, this is gorgeous and again what keywords mother of the bride um, I did have a gold netted one that uh, was by a different brand and it was more you know funky for the younger kids and it's sold for good dollars and for mother of the bride I definitely think that one's going to do very well okay who are you olive and oak it is new with tags now it does have a Ross tag and it also has the other original tag so I will remove the Ross tag anyway um, it is a size extra large and even though I don't usually do very well with knit dresses um, I loved the print on it um, and it has um, detailing on the bottom and it has some really nice ribbing and detailing in through the top sorry the tag is in the way with a little keyhole cut out so um, new with tags didn't pass it up okay next Ellen Tracy, size small. It's not made of anything spectacular, but she gets a lot of attention and does fairly well for me. So there you go. It's like a high-low kind of two-neck sweater. All right, this is just too cute. Um, this, I don't know, it's D and Y, evening, petite, large. I'm insane. Um, anyway. It is this stretch, I'll throw it out for you. You might not be able to see. Okay, if you can see it, it's like a rose at 3D rose at textured um, evening jacket that zips up. And I do think it's absolutely adorable. I love the texture to it. Oh, this is very complimentary. Um, I like the stretch to it. Um, yeah, all right, I'm not gonna try. It's a double zipper, I'm not gonna try to enter. Um, but uh, yeah, that would be pretty figure flattering. Um, anyway, so yes, I picked this up. I mean, half the time you can't go wrong when it's a dollar, guys. All right, please don't get stuck. Thank you. Okay, next. This happens to be a BCBG Max's area size eight 
leather skirt. Um, <clears throat> maybe I need to say it. I haven't had a lot of luck selling BCBG Max's area. It is a high dollar, but <clears throat> it hasn't sold for high dollar. And um, <clears throat> but it is a leather skirt. It is a brown leather skirt. And so yes, it's got more than one thing going for it. All right, my next. Again, I found another um, Tahari Arthur S. Levine size eight. Um, and this one I will probably put like as a tuxedo sheath dress. It's got the black and the white. It's very elegant, very simple, um, would look great and stunning with multiple jackets. So there you go. This one happens to be a White House, a black market, size six, and it's 32% cotton, um, but it is a really cute, kind of like a quilted. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that quilted pattern. Can you? I'm not sure. Um, it's got a, like a, a floral quilted pattern to it. Um, just one button, single breasted, um, uh, like raw edge, um, frayed lapel. I thought it was adorable in this beautiful cream. Next, um, this one is a Bella Suits size eight, and I believe this is vintage. Um, and because it's got the large lapel, um, it has like a textured, I don't know, is that like a zebra texture? Tiger texture, I haven't put tiger textured. Um, tone on tone, single breasted, two button, almost like a cape. Um, I think that one is adorable. All right. Gosh, guys, I still have a lot more to go. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. This is a vintage Harvey Bernard. Um, and uh, let's see, what size do we say size? Medium, size medium, um, and it is just polyester. But um, I liked the pink, and I like the quilted. It has like a little, I don't know, split mandarin collar. It's in this pink and lime green zip up. The interior, I wish it was reversible because look at that. The interior is so stinking cute. It's shoes, it's shoes. So um, yes, we'll give that a shot for a buck. All right, next we have Kenneth Cole, New York, size small, and it is a nice green, army green. Don't forget, when you're gonna describe a green, if it's army green, use the words. Um, and sorry about the boxes, nice long mid thigh. Um, it's not belted, but trench coat. Oh, this one is adorable. Oh, crap. Shouldn't have put it on. I do like this. Oh, okay. So we'll have to just wait and see if it actually gets. <laughs> God, I steal so many items. That's all right. I have the right. I have the right. And you're not made of anything spectacular or anything, right? I don't believe so, but it is just so stinking cute. 56% um, cotton. The rest is polyester. But um, yes, and that army green, and I do, I, I don't know, I do like green, so. Okay, next, here we go. I'm telling you, some of these I just, I don't know, I whooped out on. <laughs> okay, this one happens to be a cold water creek, um, and it is uh, nothing special, size large. Um, again, though, I don't know, it reminds me of a 90s style with this, I don't know, crushed velvet, embossed, um, sequined, and it's just a nice, it's got cuffed um, sleeves, scoop neck, nice dress top. So yes, I do like to buy more dressier items if I'm going for the tops because I don't, I don't want just $16 per item. Um, all right, this one I could probably love it left behind, but again, it's an Ashley Stewart. Um, it's a size, 1416, but I got it for the print of it. I loved the colors. I love 
the sleeves on it. So yes, I think it should do okay. <laughs> All right. I'm almost done, guys. I'm getting down to my favorite item soon and um, my two full priced. So, and again, um, I think they're pretty good. We'll have to wait and see. You can get, leave your comments down below, please. I enjoy comments. Uh, this is Banana Republic. It is a Heritage. It is a size zero. Um, now, Heritage is a more expensive line by Banana Republic. Um, I hemmed and hawed, but again, um, it's almost like a, it's a scoop neck, but it's a, you know, a modest style dress in this like boho knit, I don't know, crocheted lace overlaid in like almost like a goldish bronze. So um, again, I will actually put this and list it and say mother of the bride. All right. <clears throat> My two favorite pieces are after this. All right, this is a White House Black Market. It is a size zero. It is the super cute little, are you a, I think you're a top. Um, it's like a little peplum top, um, scoop neck, sleeveless, exposed back zipper in this really nice crisp white, super adorable. Um, yes, all right, my favorite pieces. And I had been eyeing this. All right, so I said I got 38 items. I'm sorry, I lied. I got 40 items for 52.02 because these were $1 because they were sets. And let me pull them out. And I believe these are both vintage. They got the shoulder pads. They are K under size 10. And what we are made of rayon cotton polyester but it definitely has that 70s flair as far as this pinstriping horizontal it ties in the front um, like little half sleeves um, super cute I was so in love with the print um, and it has matching skirt um, I will list them separately this is a size 10 also so yes and I'm just gonna make sure no and no make sure there's no more uh, wonderful information on it but yes so both of those pieces um, together were a dollar they were 50 cents each and yeah um, off the top of my head I'm just gonna say I'm maybe gonna list them $50 each but I haven't done my research yet so you can always go to my shops. They're all linked down below. Um, don't forget everything is for sale. If it isn't listed, you can always contact me and ask me. Um, I am going to number, so hopefully I'll get that done soon, my actual um, into episodes because I've had somebody contact me, but they couldn't remember what video. So if I maybe label them by episodes, it might help. I don't know. We'll see. Um, anyway, let's go... A screenshot would probably be the best. This one is a vintage PSI, never heard of them, size eight. And this is like polyester leisure suit. And I think it is just amazing, the print on it. It is amazing. I don't know, you're not, you're not even gonna get the full effect of it. It is so stinking cool. All right, I'm gonna put it on, put the print is so cool it's got like this zigzag metallic rainbow metallic and it's a notched collar um, it's like a tunic it's a longer cover than the hips blazer um, definitely like a riding style uh, but oh my gosh look at this thing it is just to die for with the covered buttons um, yes and I have the matching skirt so yes again they're both size eight and they are just they are unbelievable unbelievable that print i wish i wish it came out the way it really is it's gorgeous it is so gorgeous all right now for my last two items now they were full priced items um i did receive 20 percent off because of course i bought more than 20 items <laughs> 
but start with one. This one is awesome. Okay, I lied again. I got 42 items for $55.02. Because this one was a three piece. <laughs> Boy, I lie a lot. All right, sorry. So that's really good. I got 42 items. All right, um, so this happens to be a Johnny Was Collections. And it is a linen blend. I don't think it's 100% linen. Um, it is not one of his major pieces. Um, it is a paper tag. So I'm thinking this is a vintage of his. And it's made in the USA. Um, oh, it is 100% linen. I lied. It's 100% linen. Okay, but it's just cream. So um, anyway, let me just get rid of that. Um, it is a size medium. It is a sleeveless, um, like shift dress. And it has the, um, like, uh, I don't know, it, like a crochet lace crisscross detailing, some side buttons. I have not Googled this item. Um, I saw Johnny was, I saw that it was $6.29 and I was going to get 20% off of that and that it was linen. So even though it was a more boring piece, but now that I found that tag made in the USA and it's paper, I'm a lot more excited. Um, so let me get through the other pieces. Again, this is a size medium and it is the vest that can go with it, 100% linen. It has a little bit more lace um, detailing to it. Um, so yes, super cute. So you can wear the vest over it. And uh, miraculously, they are, they're like white. So um, I have not found any stains or anything on them. And the third piece to this happens to be, this one says size small, the other two are mediums. So um, yes, and they will all be listed separately. Um, Johnny was collection again. It's linen um, and that paper tag. Um, it is this really super cute, very um, almost like a. Um, it's got some again that same uh, crochet detailing. It has this cute kind of um, button so you can gather. Um, it's on each side and. Uh, let's see. It's a colorless, single-breasted, with pockets. So there you go. So um, I think that will do amazing as far as dollars go. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I know it's a little bit more boring piece, but, you know, uh, paper tag, USA. Um, bonuses right there, uh, along with the fact that there's three pieces that I got for $6.29 minus 20%. All right, my last and final piece, and it was expensive. Um, and I guess what I decided I was going to do is I was going to look at it like, what, I just got 41 items for, you know, however much. And I'm picking up this item for $17.49 plus 20% off. But if you average the prices out, you know, is that really fair? But anyway, if you average the prices out, I, you know, I didn't pay much for the bag. Um, it is this rose gold metallic, you can see this, it is gorgeous. Um, fold over crossbody messenger by Fossil. And there are quite a few listed, well, I guess not quite a few listed, I just Googled. Um, and you know, some are 80, um, some are higher. And um, this one's in excellent condition. There were, there's, the inside doesn't look like it was ever used whatsoever. I think there was one tiny pen mark that I saw, like right here. And it's going to be hard to capture, but it's right there. It's like a very, it's not even a pen, it might be just a scrape. Um, and the pen mark might be, I think it's on the upper part. Um, I can't even find it. That's how small and minor any damage or wear is on this bag. So um, I definitely am going to be listing it for probably, I don't know, over 100, maybe 120, um, and just let it go because it's a very popular color. It is a crossbody. It is a messenger, and that's just how I roll. Anyway, 
I really hope you enjoyed my haul. I really appreciate you for hanging in there. And um, I hope you come back again and see me. If you have any questions or comments, please um, feel free to leave them down below. But until next time, guys.